RTP is, uh, stands for Artillery Relocation Training Program. It's an opportunity for four deployed forces or FDF batteries that are attached to 312 in Okinawa as part of the unit deployment program to actually come forward into a training environment, exercise in expeditionary logistics, and then practice going forward and performing our core artillery competencies to come forward here and and be able to train on, on mainland Japan. The, the terrain is different. Almost everything that we have to take into consideration for operational planning from the employment of communications to the distribution uh, of our actual howitzers within the position as well as uh, the local terrain and the weather that we're used to operating with. So it provides an opportunity for us to, to demonstrate that we are truly a, an all-weather, any kind of place capable unit. My name is Kobo Ruben Carrillo. My Moise is 0811. I'm a howitzer section chief and I'm from Hayward, California. My role as a howitzer section chief is to supervise my Marines and to make sure they perform their duties in a safe and timely manner. My gun crew is like a family. Training in different environments definitely helps us build that bond, that family bond that not a lot of people get. So our mission as Marine Artillery is to suppress, neutralize, and destroy the enemy while providing timely and accurate fire support to the maneuver element. The weapon system that we use is the Mike 777 Alpha 2 howitzer. It fires a variation of 155 millimeter shells. It could be smoke, fragmentation, or illumination. The training we did here was valuable. It pushed us to our limits, training under extreme cold weather conditions, but burn artillery requires you to be mentally and physically strong. There's no room for errors, so you cannot be undecisive or timid. So the FTC is the Fire Direction Control Center. Um, we're essentially the brains of the artillery operations while we have our forward observers. They're the eyes and then our gun line, who's the, the, the brawn, they're the muscles. So we're gonna receive either a grid or a direction or distance from the forward observers and they're gonna pass that down to the Fire Direction Control Center. We're gonna take that and input it into either our digital means of computation or our manual means. We're gonna push down to the gun line and that's gonna make sure our rounds land safely, accurately and timely. The battery did phenomenal to come out here, deploy forward from Okinawa over a thousand miles in a matter of hours, um, using both sea and air, and then uh, to consolidate at a combined arms training center at Camp Fuji and begin uh, exercising in the scenario is, is a tremendous feat. At the end of the day, the, the small unit leadership uh, really shined out here for over the past 10 days. The, the, the young NCOs the sergeants uh, taking charge of their individual howitzer sections, take, taking charge of their, their vehicles and vehicle sections, and uh, pushing out log trains, and, and being able to run all of that concurrently uh, is, is really only seen to be successful when you have uh, a collection of, of individual actions and people doing the right thing in the right place at the right time with the right supervision. And, and I think that's what we saw over the last 10 days, uh, which, is, which is incredible.